I was in the wrong place. I was in the wrong job. But because of my story, I've had clients hire me to help them quit their jobs or find another career. What happens, though, is that when we work on changing how they work, how they think, and how they take care of themselves, most of those clients don't end up quitting their jobs. They were in the right place. Burnout was the problem. People experiencing burnout are six times more likely to be looking for a new job. According to Gallup State of the Global Workplace 2023 report, global worker stress remains at a historic high. Since 2020, levels of burnout have continued to increase worldwide. So it's critical at this time in history for all of us to understand what burnout is. You may not personally experience burnout, I hope not, but you may have the opportunity to do what Karen did for me, for someone that you know. Now, burnout is a syndrome or a cluster of symptoms that occur together, and the cause always of burnout is chronic work-related stress. For you to have burnout, there has to be chronic work-related stress. And for it to be true burnout, there have to be three, three specific components present. The first component is exhaustion. That's what most people notice first. Now, it's important that if you think you're experiencing burnout, you must see your doctor as a first step because there are lots of other conditions that can make you feel really tired. A friend of mine had been working really long hours and she was sure that she had burnout, but she went to see her doctor and that smart doctor ordered blood tests and it turned out that she had anemia. She didn't have enough red blood cells. That's why she was so tired. Executive coaching would not have helped her. Depression can also have similar symptoms to burnout, and depression often occurs together with burnout. I had both. I had depression and burnout at the same time, and you wouldn't want to miss that. My doctor missed that. The second component of burnout is a personality change, and others might notice this before you do. You feel more negative. You feel more cynical, specifically about your work. You may feel more and more resentment about the demands of your work. You may find yourself complaining a lot about your work. Maybe it's been bothering you because you're not normally a complainer. You may even feel negatively towards your clients and your colleagues, like they're no longer people but they're just obstacles that you have to get through to just get to the end of the day so you can be done. Pay attention if this is happening to you. The third component of burnout, not surprisingly, is decreased productivity and a decreased sense of accomplishment in your work. You might be working longer hours than ever, but you're getting less done. And you may also lose your confidence in your ability to do your work. You might start doubting if you should even be doing this. That's what happened to the people who hired me to help them quit. If you are feeling like this, if this sounds like you, please try not to make any major life decisions from a low place. Get help, get support, Talk to a mentor, talk to a counselor, get a coach. Now, I also want to point out that burnout is an opportunity. It is telling you something is wrong, something needs to be changed. So I encourage you, take an inventory. First, look at your work. What's the most stressful for you? What's the most frustrating? 
and what can be changed. Take a look at yourself. Where might you be sabotaging yourself? What thoughts and habits can you improve? What will your new way be in today's new normal?